Today we're going to talk about how to collect high quality multi-spec data in the field. Many of the parameters measured by the multi-spec are dependent on incoming light and the time of day when the measurement was taken. Generally speaking, as incoming light or PAR goes up, the efficiency of Photosystem 2 or Phi 2 will go down. At the same time, non-photochemical quenching represented by the Phi NPQ and MPQT parameters will go up. It is important to note that the degree to which light intensity affects each of these parameters will be dependent on things like plant stress, genetic variation, and crop management. When we are measuring plants outdoors, we cannot measure all of our plants under the exact same light conditions at the exact same time of day. So we need to collect data in a way that reduces the effect of differing light conditions and times of day on photosync parameters. In our first example, one scientist is measuring plants alone in the field. He starts at one end of the field and measures each plant, or population of plants, before moving on to the next plant. Once he is done zigzagging through the field, we can see that the light conditions for the first plant he measured were very different from the light conditions of the last plant he measured. In this case, differences in our multi-spec parameters are mainly driven by changing conditions and not by genetic, plant stress, or management differences between plants. One way to address this is to measure each plant at multiple times throughout the day. In our second example, two data collectors come to the field. Instead of starting at the same plant and traveling through the field together, each person starts at a different location in the field. Then they zigzag through the field heading in the same direction. Because each plant was measured at two different light intensities and times of day, the average light conditions of plants from different parts of the field were closer than in the previous example. In our third example, each plant row represents a different treatment. These treatments could represent different irrigation levels, fertilizer applications, soil amendments, pesticides. If we want to avoid the same problem that we ran into in the first example, we should avoid measuring all the plants from one treatment before moving on to plants from the next treatment. Instead, we should measure across the field in the other direction so that we alternate measurements from each treatment. That way, when we are done collecting measurements, we will have a wide range of light intensities for each treatment and it will be easier for us to interpret the results. So long and happy measuring.